Hi, everybody. Welcome back. This week, I'd like to start out by talking more about the power of the triad. Remember, last week we had three notes, right? Do, mi, so. Three notes, or one, three, five from a scale, like one, two, three, four, five. Those three notes that when you put them together make something super strong, kind of like a tripod is a very strong base that you can put a camera on. The triad is a super strong building block for music. And remember, the hand signs reflect that. Do is the most important note, right? That's like the rock, the foundation, everything comes from that do. Mi is also super stable if you think of a table, right? It's strong, so you could put something on it and it's not going to fall. It could take the weight. So is like a wall. It's not going to fall. Right? And when you put those three notes together, that's the triad. It sounds like something. So we're going to start with the triad warm-up. All right, so I go first, and you do the echo. Remember, I'm only using notes from the triad. Do, mi, do. Do, mi, so. So, 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 mi. Mi, so, do, do, do. Do, 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 so. So, so, mi. So, mi, do. Good. I messed up a little on the piano, but that's okay. You get the idea. Those three notes. And if you've ever been in a choir, you know that a lot of the choir warm-ups come also from those three notes. A lot of choir warm-ups use those three notes from the triad, but the do keeps going up higher and higher because you're warming up your voice, like this one, right? Do, mi, so, mi, do. Do, mi, so, mi, do. Do, mi, so, mi, do. Sometimes it's numbers. One, three, five, three, one. One, three, five, three, one. Or just ha, 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 ha. That's it, the three notes of the triad. Sometimes you want to really use the full range of your voice. There's a choir warm up that goes like this. Oh, what a lovely day. Right? That's do, mi, so, do, goes up to the high do, and then back down. So, mi, do. Oh, what a lovely day. Uh, oh, what a lovely day. Oh, what a lovely day. Anyway, you get the point. You've heard those notes over and over and over. Last week I talked about some tunes that only use notes from the triad, like this one, right? Or, right, both of those sound triumphant. I'd like to talk about some tunes that use other notes but highlight the triad. Let's go back to Amazing Grace, which I know we've heard a few thousand times, right? Amazing Grace. Now, let's stop right there. What were those notes? If this is our do, it starts out with so do mi do mi. The first few notes are right from that triad. Then you've got a re and some other notes. Do do mi so. So even the main notes that are on the beat really highlight that triad. That's pretty cool. How about let's take our national anthem. Well, that sounds triumphant, right? It sounds triumphant partly because the first few notes are from the triad, right? So if this is on do, it starts on so, right? It's so, mi, do, mi, so, do, then do. The first few notes are from that triad. Pretty cool. Last week, I talked about how Do is such an important bedrock foundation note that almost every tune that I can think of ends on Do. Let's take a few examples and see. How I wonder what you are. That's a Do for sure. How about Amazing Grace? We just sang that one, right? Um, Now I see that's a do. 
How about the national anthem? Remember, that starts with a super strong triad, right? Let's see if that one ends with do. Let's see. Um, I bet you could hear that note almost before I played it because that's how strong it is. After last week's lesson, I was really thinking about the power of the triad, especially Do. And I noticed that every tune that came into my head, I would sing the end note, and the final note was always Do. Let's do a little experiment. I've got all God's people sing here, and I'm just going to open at random. I'm not even looking, I'm opening up at random. Let's see, I've got. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. I don't know if we've done that one that much, but let's just try it. Um, so this is our Do, right? It actually starts on So, which ends the note from the triad, right? Let's see. The ending would be... There's our Do. That one ends on Do. Let's try another one. Let's see, I'm not even looking. Oh my goodness, Jesus remember me. Let's see if that ends on Do. So our Do is this, Do. Now it starts on Do, Re, Mi, Jesus starts on Mi, right? So that got me thinking, every song that I can think of ends with Do. Are there any songs that don't? Yes, there are, and I found them. Well, I did some detective work. I searched through this book, every single song I looked at, and in fact, I did find at least two that don't end on Do. Let me share some of them with you. Let's see. Just As I Am. That goes like this. This would be our do, right? Do we be fa so fa do we do? It starts on do, right? Do re mi mi so. Oh wait a minute! It's, it highlights the triad early on, right? Do re mi mi so. So we know right where we are. Okay. Here's how the whole thing goes. our do it ends on me so the last two notes oh that's so me it still ends on a note in the triad although it's me not do so you'll find that all, pretty much every song though is going to begin and end with either do re or do do me or so i need to learn my triad Okay, there's another one that's also super famous, God Loves Me Dearly. Let's see, I almost don't need the music for this, but I'll get it out just in case. I know you've heard it many times, right? So this is our Do, right? It starts on Do, right? God loves me dearly. Wait a minute. What are those first three notes? Do, Do, Mi, So, Mi, So, Do. It starts out really highlighting that triad. So the triad is always super important. All right, now it doesn't end on Do. Let's find out where it ends. on the note 
mi, remember our do is down here, so it ends on so, so, mi. Ooh, now there's kind of a musical secret, right? You're singing the word, loves even me, like God loves me, but you're actually singing the pitch, mi. Mi, ha, ah, pretty cool. And that goes along with our theme for the year, right? So loved, he loves all of us, even me, even me. All right, so that just shows you how important the triad is. All the songs start out with do, mi, or so, and they always end with do, mi, or so. Usually do, but sometimes it's me. Remember last week, for a while, all we had was the beat, which by itself is not that exciting. It's just a steady pulse, like a heartbeat. But as soon as we add bar lines and measures, it becomes music because then it makes sense in a whole different way. Because now we have beats that are metered or measured. Right here they're grouped in bunches of two, right? One, two, one, two, one, two, and so on. Here they're in groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. You get the picture. And down here in groups of four, I would like to show you how to conduct those meters. All right, now it's time for your quick crash course in conducting. So we're gonna talk about conducting in two, three, and four. Now, I've already broken one of the rules, well, unwritten rules. Usually when you see a conductor, he or she stands to lead the group. And I've started sitting down. Well. In 2020, that's the year when we were kind of changing things up, trying some new things, changing some of the rules. And because you're all sitting down, I'm assuming, I'm going to sit down with you for this part. So, all right, so we're counting to two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now, do you hear with my voice? I'm accenting one, two. One, two. Because one is always the strong beat or the downbeat. So that's what our hands do. On one, we go one, right? Well, if we've gone down and there's only two beats, on beat two, you have to come back up again, right? Two, so you're ready for the next one. One, two, one, two. Now that's the most basic way to do it. It's a little bit, if you do it that way, it's kind of stiff like conducting a robot, right? Because if your conductors don't go one, two, one, two, right? It's, it's a little more refined than that. So here's what I'm gonna to do to refine it. At the bottom, you're gonna imagine that you're bouncing, like boing, you just bounce off a little to the side and then boing, back up. So it's like one, two, one, two, one, two. Kind of like you're making a J or backwards J, depending on what hand you're looking at. And it doesn't matter if the music is fast or slow. If it's slow, it's one, two, one, two, one. Two, if it's faster, one, two, one, two, and faster, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that's the basic pattern for conducting in two. Now we're counting to three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can hear I'm still accenting one with my voice because that's still the strong beat or downbeat. So when you're conducting in three, you want to go down on one. One, that's the downbeat, right? Now beat two, we're moving a little bit off to the side, right? Two, and three, you have to come up because you want to be ready for that next one, right? We always go up at the end before we get to one. So three gets us ready for the next one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you look at my hands, you can see I'm making a three-sided shape or triangle, right? Now this is kind of the, the stiff robot version is one, two, three, one, two. You would never see an actual conductor do that, but that's the pattern you want, right? Is a basic triangle. If you want to add the finesse work, it's like one, I bounce a little bit, and then off to the side, two, three. And notice I'm not making straight sharp, sharp angles, but I'm kind of making one, two, Three, it's a little more flowing. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's basically a triangle 
with a few curvy sides. I don't know what you would call that in math class, but it works for conducting. So, all right. Now, this is an interesting thing about three, is that if I'm singing a song like Amazing Grace that's in three, there's two beats where most of the action happens. See if we can figure this out. I'm gonna sing Amazing Grace, and I'm gonna conduct in three, and see if you can see which two beats do most of my words come on. <clears throat> All right, ready, here I go, one, two. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Well, I certainly did a lot of things on that one, on the downbeat, right? Amazing grace, how sweet. That's not very musical the way I did it, but you get the picture. There's a lot happening on one. Beat three also has a lot happening because three is getting you ready for the next one, right? That's why that upbeat or pickup is so important. Let me, sh I'll do a little bit again. So, uh, amazing, it actually starts before beat one. It starts on three, right? If I count it in, it's one, two. Uh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. In fact, I don't think I started a single word on beat two which goes to show you how important that beat one and three are. It's like one and then three, one, three, which is why when you're conducting, you don't want to move as much on beat two because you're not going one, two, three, one, two, three. It sounds weird musically. And also you look a little bit more like you're the umpire at a baseball game going safe, right? Which is great for baseball. But for conducting, it's down a little inside then up, down, two, three. Three. One, two, three. That's conducting in three. All right, very quickly, I'm going to show you how to conduct in four. I won't spend a whole lot of time on it. If you don't get it all, that's okay. But it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Notice that one number, one, is stronger than the others. Because one, no matter what number you're conducting to, conducting in, counting to, one is always the strong downbeat. So it's one. Now on beat two, you're gonna go in towards the center of your body a little bit. And on three, you're going out to the sides a little bit. Four has to prepare you for getting ready for the one, right? Four. Notice that whatever comes before one is always up, right? So four, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four. So you see very quickly that beats one and four are the most important for conducting and really knowing where you are, right? Four, one. That way you really know the downbeat's coming, right? Beats two and three, you're kind of just keeping time, right? Mm, one. Okay, two, three, four, one. So anyway, that's your basic crash course in conducting. You can practice more of that at home. With all that conducting and waving my arms, I really worked up an appetite, but I don't want to keep talking about the beat. So I'm going outside for some vegetable rhythms. Come with me. All right, here we are. We're doing vegetable rhythms part two. So basically each plate is one beat. So on the beat, we can have either beans, right? One syllable, beans. We could have carrot, right, two syllables, or we're adding something now. Check this out. What is this? It's a plate of cauliflower. How many syllables is that? Cauliflower. Four syllables. So when you see this, you say cauliflower. Let's just practice. Okay. Beans. Carrot and cauliflower. 
Sorry, I was a little distracted just now because Mr. Mourner came up the stairs and um, I got a little distracted. So anyway, we're back to our rhythm in two, two plates, two beats, remember? One, two, one, two. So what are we gonna fill these up with? Let's see, let's put some beans, beans. Ready, one, two, here we go. Beans, beans. Well, that's pretty easy, pretty short rhythm, right? I'm gonna put out some more plates. All right, more plates, more beats. Let's see, carrot and carrot. All right, let's try this one. So we've got beans, beans, carrot, carrot. I'm gonna add more plates. All right, here we go. We have eight plates, eight beats. Remember, our rhythm is still in two. So we're looking at it this way, like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You have to follow with your eyes in that order because I don't think I can point and clap and everything. So here's what we're gonna do. First, we're just gonna say the rhythm. I'm gonna do the whole rhythm twice. You can join in with me the second time if you want, or you can just watch. So here I go. One, two, the whole rhythm. It's beans, carrot, carrot, beans. Cauliflower, cauliflower, carrot, beans. Again, beans, carrot, carrot, beans. Cauliflower, cauliflower, carrot, beans. Now I'm gonna say that same rhythm and clap it twice. So again, you can watch and go with me the second time. Here we are, the whole thing twice. One, two, here we go. It's beans, carrot, carrot, beans. Cauliflower, cauliflower, carrot, beans. Again, beans, carrot, carrot, beans. Cauliflower, cauliflower, carrot, beans. Now I'm not gonna say it, I'm just gonna clap it. And I'm gonna go twice in a row, see if you can join in. Ready? One, two, here we go. It's Again. Ooh, pretty good. Now we're going to put some body percussion to it. So whenever you see a plate of beans, beans, you just slap your chest, could be this hand, this hand, don't slap too hard, it's just to keep the rhythm. Beans, carrot, we're going to clap, carrot. Well, that's pretty easy, right? Carrot. When you see the cauliflower, because it's hard to clap that many times, I'm just going to slap my thighs like this, cauliflower. So this line of cauliflower twice in a row would be Cauliflower, cauliflower. Good. Let's try the whole rhythm twice in a row with body percussion. All right. One, two, here we go. It's beans, carrot, carrot, beans. Cauliflower, cauliflower, carrot, beans. Again, beans, carrot, carrot, beans. Cauliflower, cauliflower, carrot, beans. I almost messed up. I think I got it. All right, time for rhythm two. All right, we have a slightly different rhythm this time, and I make things kind of interesting. Instead of carrots, I'm taking them off. So what that means is on these plates, there's nothing or a rest, right? So you have to think beans, there's nothing on that beat, right? So this time, we're just going to say the vegetables. I'll do the whole rhythm twice. Here we go. One two, here we go. Beans. Cauliflower, beans. Cauliflower, beans. Again, beans. Cauliflower, beans. Cauliflower, beans. Well, that's kind of a cool rhythm. I'm going to try clapping that while I say it now. Twice. You can go with me the second time or both times, whatever you like. Okay. One, two, clap and say. It's Beans, cauliflower, beans, cauliflower, beans, again, beans, cauliflower, beans, cauliflower, beans. Ooh, I like that one. Now it's time for the body percussion. Remember, it's beans. We don't have carrots, so we're not clapping, but cauliflower is on our legs. So we just have chest and legs, or nothing. All right, here we are, twice in a row. One, two. Here we go. It's beans. Cauliflower beans. 
cauliflower beans again beans cauliflower beans cauliflower beans Whew. all right whoa what do we have here I see a lot more plates oh my goodness wait so let's not freak out let's what musicians do is we count and figure out what we need to do so let's just look at the top row of plates let's see one two three three plates in the top row let's see one two three aha one two three one two three so each line of plates has three beats remember our conducting one two three one two three yes we have a rhythm that's in meter of three all right so let's just try this one now remember the downbeat the strong beat is always beat one and you'll notice for this rhythm I've made it kind of easy on beat one there's always a plate of beans at the beginning of each one aha so we're starting out pretty basic let's try this rhythm good luck we're just going to say the vegetables as they show up watch out for the rest all right one two three beans carrot beans beans carrot beans cauliflower beans cauliflower beans did you make it to the end let's do that one more time just saying it ready I'll count you in one two three beans carrot beans beans carrot beans cauliflower beans cauliflower beans good remember for the rest you just have to keep the beat and not make any sound now we're going to clap that while we while we say it twice in a row ready I'll count you in one two three beans carrot beans beans carrot beans cauliflower beans cauliflower beans again beans carrot beans beans carrot beans cauliflower beans cauliflower beans oh there's a lot going on at the end of this rhythm huh now do you remember our body percussion For, no so beans you hit your chest right beans carrot you're clapping cauliflower knee slaps right thigh slaps whatever you want to call it let's do it let's go for twice in a row so here we go ready one two three beans carrot beans beans carrot beans cauliflower beans cauliflower beans again beans carrot beans beans carrot beans cauliflower beans cauliflower beans so it just goes to show I still mess up after all these years of music okay we have our final rhythm in three we've got it all out here we've got carrots we've got cauliflower we've got beans we've got nothing right so just be careful it's easy to get used to doing nothing then all of a sudden you have to do cauliflower right nothing and then a carrot now I know this rhythm might be kind of tricky I might mess it up I put something easy at the end on purpose we're ending with beans 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 so at least we can all end together all right Let's try this. So first, we'll just say it twice in a row. I haven't even practiced this. Let's see how we do it. One, two, three. Carrot, carrot, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Carrot, beans, beans, beans. Carrot, carrot, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Carrot, beans, beans, beans. Not too bad. Let's try clapping and saying twice in a row. One, two, three. Carrot, carrot, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Carrot, beans, beans, beans. Carrot, carrot, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Carrot, beans, beans, beans. Oh, I love the ending. It's just beans. It's so easy. Now we're ready for our body percussion. So we're going to end with three beans, beans, beans. That I can handle. All right, just watch out for the carrots and cauliflower and the nothing. Let's do this. All right. One, two, three. Carrot, carrot, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Carrot, beans, beans, beans. I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to try it a little bit faster. Ready? 
a one, two, three. Carrot, carrot, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Carrot, beans, beans, beans. I think we can go even faster for our grand finale. Remember, it ends super solid with the beans. Good luck. All right. About this speed. A one, two, three. Carrot, carrot, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Carrot, beans, beans, beans. I like it so nice, I'd like to hear it twice at that speed. Ready? One, two, three. Carrot, carrot, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Carrot, beans, beans, beans. Carrot, carrot. Cauliflower. Carrot, beans, beans, beans. See, no matter what, if I mess up a little bit, we've got beans, beans, beans at the end. Excellent. So why was I spending so much time with cauliflower? Well, it's because there's a rhythm that we're going to do next week to A Mighty Fortress that uses these notes. So cauliflower, oh by the way, if you don't like cauliflower, it doesn't matter. You can pick any word that has four syllables. If you want to keep with food, you could use pepperoni. If you don't even want to think about food, it could be a vehicle like motorcycle or helicopter. If you don't even want that, you can make up your own. It could be purple puppy. I don't care as long as it's four sounds. All right. So the four sounds are the 16th notes are what we have now. Right? They go by twice as fast as eighth notes. So anytime you see this, it's ticka ticka, right? Or cauliflower or purple penny. I don't care. Four sounds really fast, right? Ba pa pa pa. All right. So I'd like to show you how to write them. All right, here's the rhythm I'm thinking of. It's in three, and it does the same thing three times in a row with something different at the end. It goes like this. It's ta tiki tiki ta tiki tiki ta tiki tiki ta ti ti ta. So that's as long as the rhythms we were doing with the vegetables upstairs just now. All right. So the rhythm goes, I'll say it again, it's ta tiki tiki ta tiki tiki ta tiki tiki ta ti ti ta So it starts out with ta which as we know is the half note, pretty easy, circle, up on the right, out of sight, ta tiki tiki the 16th notes, well we make four circles, it's like quarter notes, Right stems up on the right, out of sight, and now here's where we want to pay attention. We want to make sure we use the correct beams across the top. So if I just do this, that's not enough because these are eighth notes now. That's ta t t t t. We want them to go twice as fast, so we need a second beam across the top like this. Let's see. Aha! Now we've got our super fast 16th notes, right? It's ta tiki tiki. And we just need that two more times. All right. ta tiki tiki ta tiki tiki. Let me do this fast. All right, up on the right, out of sight. I'm doing it kind of messy, but all right. All right. Okay, so we have the same thing three times, right? Ta tiki tiki ta tiki tiki ta tiki tiki, and then I had ta ti ti ta, right? At the end, I had quarter eighth eighth quarter, ta ti ti ta. All right, all right. There it is. I'm gonna move over here and conduct while I say it. Ready? One, two, three. Ta tiki tiki ta tiki tiki ta tiki tiki ta ti ti ta. All right, welcome to 16th notes. If you remember our musical shorthand, you also could have written it this way, right? Ta tiki tiki. This just means repeat that rhythm, repeat that rhythm, and something different at the end. So it's the same rhythm, right? It's one, two, three. Ta tiki tiki ta. Tiki tiki ta, tiki tiki ta, ti ti ta. I took the easy way out at the end. All right, that's it. I will see you next week.